I'm just sniffing. Like, this is just a whole video of me sniffing empty containers. I feel like it hasn't been too long since my last empties video, but uh, I have way more empties than usual. Like I couldn't actually fit it in my normal basket. I had to go and get this giant bag <laughs> and actually it's like more than halfway full. So we're probably gonna be here for a while. So I have a hell of a lot of products in here and it's a good mixture. We've got skincare, we've got hair care. I've got a lot of makeup empties, foundation empties. So just this probably is going to be a bit of a long video unless i can edit it all the way down so get a snack <laughs> get comfy good thing that i mean not good thing a couple of trains got canceled so i'm catching a later train this morning so i've got time i don't have to leave for another hour so <sighs> let's get started wow that took like 20 minutes just to organize <laughs> And in skincare, I'm also including some lotions and some fragrance as well. The first product I have is this face wash. This is the Simple Sensitive Skin Kind to Skin Moisturizing Facial Wash. I didn't like this as much as I'd like my CeraVe. It was a decent cleanser, but I did feel like, even though it says it's good for sensitive skin, I feel like it did strip my skin a bit more than my CeraVe, the moisturizing cleanser that I love, and I just, I, I've been using that for like months now. So I can't say I really recommend this. Uh, I'm not going to pick it up again. I just, I felt like it, it says it's supposed to be like good for your skin and everything, but I felt like I, it felt dry and stripped after I used this. Next, I have a fragrance empty, and this is from Avon. So this is their haiku line of fragrances they have three bottles they have like a green a blue and a pink we have a family friend who works for avon so my grandma places an order like every month and every now and then she'll get me one of these bottles of perfume i like it it's fairly affordable and you can also get a set that comes with the perfume and the lotion which is this one right here but i just love this as my everyday kind of fragrance i usually do two types of fragrances i like to use a body spray like from bath and body works because i'm still 14 apparently but i like using a, a perfume and then a body spray i feel like they they mix well together the perfume lasts longer but the body spray gives it a little bit more depth so i like to use those on an everyday basis i still have a little bit of like my expensive perfume left that i use for special occasions and whatnot so once that runs out it's a burberry one i'll buy another bottle of expensive and then just like use that again for a year and a half and see how long it lasts me but this is my everyday kind of go-to it's like twenty dollars if you get the kit of this in a lotion and i really like the scents let's go ahead and jump into the hand cream that you get in the set so it is heavily fragranced because of course it's it comes with a perfume so it is heavily fragranced i wouldn't use it as an all-over body lotion the only reason i would really use this is it's a hand lotion i wouldn't use this on the rest of my body i feel like it really was good or it was decent as a hand lotion. I like keeping a lotion here on my vanity and one at work. So at any time I have a mini lotion in my purse, I got a lotion at work and I have a lotion here. Cause I used to get really dry hands to the point where they would like crack and bleed. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very con cognizant of having to moisturize. So just be aware that if you get this, it is heavily fragranced. There are only a few heavy fragranced lotions that I like. Uh, this one felt more like a, um, it felt oily, like a little bit more oily than my usual hand creams are. So I did to put it on and then just kind of like wipe off here. Like if you're at a computer or anything, you would have to wipe off the bottom of your hands. Whereas with a thicker cream, you might not have to. Uh, but I did get full use out of this. I did enjoy it. And I do like the fact that it makes the perfume a bit more affordable because if you get the kit with both the perfume and the lotion it's 20 bucks so you're paying ten dollars for a perfume that'll last you a few weeks and a lotion another like hand cream that i used up was actually from clinique this is the clinique happy gelato cream for body so technically it's like a body cream this is the mini that i got i got a big um clinique set for my birthday last year <laughs> the year before um, and it came with a bunch of like mini Clinique products, which I do love Clinique. I just think they're a bit pricey for my, my budget, but it was a big birthday gift. So this was one of the products in there that I never really got to. It was, again, a bit heavily fragranced. 
smelled very citrusy um, and again I wouldn't use this on the rest of my body I really only use this on my hands so I think I brought this to work and I used it up I do like the lotions that come in like a tub like this because it does make it a bit easier to scoop out and use of course I, I do prefer the squeezy tubes but if you're keeping this at a desk and you're working this is actually pretty nice to have I did like this I did think it was just a little too fragranced but it worked really well for my hands and it was a nice thick cream that works really well in the winter don't think I would buy a full size though because like I said Clinique is a bit pricey. Speaking of body lotions, I just used like all the body lotions up this time. <laughs> I have an empty from Lush and this is my favorite I think lotion of all time outside of the Bath and Body Works aromatherapy line. This is actually one I will use all over my body and this is Karma Cream. This is the best smelling lotion and it has the perfect consistency and the only downside is that it's a bit pricey for what you get so it is 7.9 ounces this can cost i think this is like 30 something dollars for just this but it does last you a while even if you're using it on your body so it's described as orange flower and patchouli oil and it's honestly just one of the, everything everything from lush smells amazing but especially the hair r b and the karma cream these, this is my favorite like i used to actually like back when i couldn't afford to keep buying this i would keep the empty container and just smell it it's so good but I mentioned before with a lot of these lotions I wouldn't use it on my whole body this one I will it's like the perfect consistency it's thick but it absorbs into your skin fairly quickly it moisturizes it smells amazing might not smell amazing to everybody I actually have some family members who my grandma says this smells like medicine which I have no idea where she got that from but she doesn't like the smell of this at all but ugh, I like it <laughs> and it's uh, it's my body I'm slathering it on so also, I am keeping this because you can do the Lush Recycle Program and bring five or six of these back to Lush to get a free face mask. So I am going to like actually thoroughly clean it because it still has some lotion there on the bottom right there. But I do clean all of these and I do return them to Lush to get those face masks. Next, I have two empties from The Ordinary. So one is one I've been using for a long time now and I love and I always keep a backup of. This is the 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. And I use this every night. I mix it in with my moisturizer and it makes me feel extra moisturized but it also really helps with redness and with the scarring that I have so I do get a lot of redness like right here on my cheeks and I have acne scarring that has actually gotten so much better since I've started using this and it's just you only need like half a dropper full every night this is like eight dollars a bottle you can get this at Sephora and they just started selling the ordinary at Ulta which I'm gonna keep buying it from Ulta because I get like they have better rewards I can get like cash rewards from Ulta so the fact that it's an affordable brand you can get it from Ulta I think that just makes a lot more sense so I love this product I will continue buying it I have at least one more as a backup and I think the next batch I'll probably buy two or three more I'll get those from Ulta another ordinary product one that's a bit newer but I've gone through about a bottle and a half and I've actually really been liking it this is the caffeine solution 5% plus EGCG I don't know what that stands for but it's like an eye kind of serum and I mentioned before that I've tried eye creams and I feel like creams for me and my age and my skin type I feel like creams are too heavy and they were just a bit too much for me right now and then I was looking for a nice like lightweight serum to use instead and this has been perfect I use this all around my eye you're not supposed to get it in your eye because it can sting and burn but I bring this all the way down here and I bring it a little bit onto my lids and onto my brow bone and I use this morning and night I started using it just in the morning but I felt like you know it can't hurt why not use it morning and night it does immediately get rid of the puffy feeling that you get if you wake up with like puffy eyes or anything and I just love the way that it feels it feels cooling I think the claims is that it's supposed to help uh reduces appearance of eye contour pigmentation and of puffiness I can agree with the puffiness honestly I have to look back at pictures from before I use this because I can't tell whether or not it's actually like really lightened up my bags I've had my bags for almost forever so I just kind of lived with them for now so I don't know if it's dealt with that but I can say that I've definitely felt and seen a difference with the puffiness and just for that I'll use it I really appreciate that this is the first bottle I went through and I have a bottle open right now that I'm halfway through and then I have one more bottle as a backup for when that one's gone and again since the ordinary is now available at Ulta I did find this product on Ulta so I will be picking up my further backups from Ulta all right and I think the last skincare product we have is from CeraVe let me turn turn this over 
This is the Skin Renewing Cream Serum. So this is a retinol kind of cream. I picked this up from CVS and I use this as my nightly retinol. I say nightly because I did build it up to nightly. Before this, I was using the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Oil, which was hella expensive. And I built up my retinol with that product first. And then I switched to this one because it's literally like a sixth of the price. And it works just as well. You really can't beat it. So I love the packaging of this because it is a tube and you can really cut it open and get just about everything out. And then you can go ahead and recycle it. I did pick this up. Again, I have another one that I'm using right now. And I also found that CeraVe just came out with a new vitamin C serum in the same kind of packaging. And I've just been testing that out. I've been using it for about two weeks now. And I haven't seen too much of a difference, but I want to use up at least one whole container and tube to see how it works. So I've been looking for a new vitamin C because I haven't been able to find my favorite. I think it's been discontinued. And I don't want to spend, you know, Sunday Riley junk elephant prices to get a decent vitamin C. And I dropped it. Anyway, I've gone through at least three or four of these at this point. Highly recommend them. And I really do think it is a dupe for that Sunday Riley oil. Don't spend that money. <laughs> don't. Next, I have four empties of my favorite makeup wipes. These are the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. And I also have one mini. I love these for taking off swatches, for cleaning off my vanity area, for taking off my makeup at the end of the night. All purpose. I really do enjoy these. I get them at Costco, or I would say my family gets them for me at Costco whenever they're there because I personally don't have a Costco membership. But recently, we actually found that they don't think they sell the big box anymore. So I have been looking into and thinking about getting uh, either like the makeup remover cloth or um, what is it called? Like Halo, I think is like a YouTuber brand that is supposed to just take it off and then you wipe, you cleanse it. So I might look into one of those instead because I know probably isn't the best for the environment to keep using these cloths. But I am looking into that and also I don't think Costco is still selling these anymore. So that's true. Let's move on next to hair care. So I have one empty of a conditioner, not conditioner, of a shampoo that I tested out because I've been looking for dupes of Diva Curl products, which speaking of, I know Harman, like Discount Cosmetics, has a whole line, I think, of products meant to dupe Diva Curl, which I just, I didn't, I totally forgot about it. And I bought Diva Curl products before I went to Harman. So I have a Diva Curl line that I'm using right now, like shampoo, conditioner, whatever. Once I run out of those, I'm going to go to Harman and find like those dupe products and see how well they work. Because I would be very excited just to see if, you know, it's actually worth it because Diva Curl gets expensive, which is why I was testing out this shampoo to see if it could be a dupe for the Build Up Buster that I love so much as a clarifying shampoo. And this is from the brand called Eden Body Works. I haven't heard of it before, but I did find this at Target. And this is the Peppermint Tea Tree Cleanse and Clarify Natural Shampoo. And it said it's paraben and sulfate free. I was basically just looking around Target trying to find like affordable brands. And I was looking for a good clarifying shampoo. And I found this one. This one worked pretty decent at clarifying my scalp. But my hair did feel dry and stripped after I used it. So because of that, it wasn't exactly a great dupe for the the Diva Curl one that I love so much. Because after I use the Diva Curl one, it gives me a nice good cleanse. I feel like everything is like clean, but my hair doesn't feel like limp and dry. I feel like this one, my hair kind of felt like straw-like after I used this. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the best, but I did use the whole thing up just to test it out. It did get the job done. My scalp did feel clean and was clarified, but my hair, the hair itself felt dry. So I can't really recommend this. I'm still on the lookout for a good dupe for the Build Up Buster. Speaking of the Build Up Buster, I have a like little sample that I got here. I think I got this at CVS because they actually, this is CVS by my work that sells a lot of Diva Curl products and I was just kind of, whoa. So before I bought a full size at the Build Up Buster, again, I bought like this mini to test against the shampoos I was currently using. And after trying this out again and loving it so much, I ended up buying a jumbo size of the Build Up Buster. So I still love this. I can't, but it's so pricey. 
Next, I have a bit of an older empty, and this is the original Olaplex Hair Perfector number no. 3. So this is like the Bond Perfector one. I bought this a while ago, and I was able to get two full deep condition uses out of this. This is 3.3 fluid ounces, and it's kind of pricey. This is like almost 30 bucks at Sephora for the 3.3 fluid ounces. I, I loved the effect that I got. It was very nourishing. It worked really well for my hair. After the two full uses, I had like half a use left and so it's just kind of sat in my drawer and I didn't really use it because it's like well I don't have a full use left what am I going to use it for eventually I went back and I mixed it with another deep conditioner just to finish it up but I really enjoyed this product it really I did feel an immediate difference in my hair but it's so pricey like mm. And that's $30 for two full uses and like a quarter use. So there are other products I can recommend that do other great things. The only time I would actually highly recommend this is if you are dyeing your hair, like, or if you're bleaching your hair, definitely use this because it does make a huge difference in damaged hair. Or maybe if you're just going curly girl and you need something that's really going to help repair your hair, go for this. But I think there are other cheaper options available that can help you if you're just looking for a good deep condition. This is more of like a, a hardcore repair for damaged hair. I don't regret purchasing this because it did really help a lot, especially back when I still had my fried blonde hair. This actually helped a lot there too. So. That's the only time I'd really recommend this, otherwise I think it's a bit too pricey for what you're getting. Speaking of good products that are a bit too pricey, another Lush product. <laughs> this is the RB Hair Moisturizer, and if you saw my last... If you, if you saw my last favorites video, you'll know that I actually just picked up another one of these actually in the jumbo size, because I have no self-control in Lush, <laughs> apparently. But I love this. I love this for deep conditioning. And actually, I did just dye my hair. I don't know if the video is going to be up already or if it is going to be coming up soon. But I did use this after I dyed my hair. And I used this to deep condition. And it helped a ton. And it just smells amazing. And I... Ah. Why is it so expensive? Like, that's one thing. It's so expensive, but I think this works so well. This is, like, on the level, if not a little bit higher than, like, the Diva Curl deep conditioning products that I love. So, ugh. It's just pricey. Uh, this size was about $25, $30, and the jumbo size I got was like double the price, but yeah. So, I like this. It's a bit pricey. They have a smaller container if you want to try this out. Try the smaller one first, or go in and just ask for a sample and see how it works for you. But I love it, and I'll probably just keep buying it. Again, I am keeping that container and just going to wash it out because you can bring it back to Lush to get a free face mask. Next, I have an affordable deep conditioning treatment that worked really well for me. And it's actually the closest I've found to being a dupe, a more affordable dupe for my favorite Diva Curl mask, which is the Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. This is from Shea Moisture, and this is the Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask with Sea Kelp and Argan Oil. This is the closest I found to that Diva Curl as a dupe. This worked so well for my hair. The, the smell was amazing. I'm just sniffing. Like, this is just a whole video of me sniffing empty containers. But the smell was amazing. It was thick enough to... It was thick enough to really coat all of my hair. Um, whenever I deep condition, I do coat all my hair after a shower. I put it up in a shower cap and then I use my hot head heat cap to add heat to my deep conditioner for at least 20 minutes and then I wash it out, which is how I use all of these. This one, uh, after I used this one, I saw similar results than when I used the matcha one from Diva Curl. I had extra thick curls. They looked very moisturized and very juicy and they just looked and smelled amazing. So this is one I will definitely buy again once I work through the other deep conditioners that I currently have. But so far, this is the closest dupe that I've found for that Diva Curl one. And this is like $10 at Target. And I got a good three and a half uses out of this container. This container is 12 ounces. Whew. So last but not least for hair care, I have two gels here. One from Diva Curl and one from Curl Keeper. The Diva Curl is the ultra defining gel stronghold no crunch styler. This is 12 fluid ounces and it was a bit pricey. Uh, this isn't my favorite Diva Curl one. I think my favorite one really is the Archangel gel. But I had this one, I think I picked this up at CVS, and it's a decent gel, 
but the other one I'm about to mention works just as good and it's hella cheaper, so don't, don't get that one. Get this one. This is the Curl Keeper Ultimate Hold with Frizz Control Gel and it's the green bottle. I bought this on Amazon in a two pack. Make sure you get the green bottle. I think there's other colors too, but this works so well and it's so affordable. I really like this. I think it works just as well as the Diva Curl gels that I've tried out. So, so far I've been able to dupe out the deep conditioning treatments from Diva Curl and the gel. I love this. It's a bit crunchy, but if you diffuse your hair or if you let your hair be, what am I trying to say? If you wash your hair every three days or so, like I do, then this gives you the hold that you need to get to day three hair and still look good put it that way. This isn't going to be for someone who just uses gel and like walks out the door. You kind of need to like scrunch it and like diffuse it and like work with it. But it gives you awesome day two, day three hair. So it's finally time to get to the makeup. I feel like we've been here for forever already. <laughs> so I have three primer empties. The first one is the Misha BB Boomer Primer. This was actually a really nice moisturizing and glowy that's what i'm trying to that's what this is glowy <laughs> glowy primer it works a lot better for me in like the dry months and the cold months as i was getting hotter and hotter i realized it wasn't working as well for me so i wanted to go ahead and finish it up because i didn't want to keep like just a little bit amount left until the next fall right so i really liked this i think it worked really well under a, a bunch of different foundations not just bb creams or cc creams i really like this i would Consider picking this up again, but I don't know where to find it now because I picked this up at a Riley Rose and my local Riley Rose just shut down. So you could probably find this online, maybe at Target too, because I know Target carries the BB cream. So I'll keep my eyes out for this, but since I know it really only works for me in the winter and in the fall, I'll probably won't be looking for it again until that time. Next, I have an empty of a mini of my favorite summertime primer, and this is the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. I love the packaging because you can cut it open and really get every single little drop out. I finished this one up and I do have a full size that I'm currently working through right now, but like I said, this is my favorite primer for these hot winter months. Hot winter months. Monica, can you just get it together? For these hot summer months and I'm wearing it today. It's one of my favorites and I really do think that there is the acne, the anti-acne treatment actually does help because I do tend to break out a lot more in the summer and my skin used to be a lot worse than it is now. But with my skincare routine set and by using this, I do see a big difference in my breakouts. Next, I have a primer that I wasn't so crazy about. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Uh, yeah, I felt like it was trying to be like what the Misha BB was for me, but this one didn't really sink into my skin. It just kind of sat on top of my skin and it kind of moved my foundation around a little bit. So I wasn't a huge fan of this. It didn't really work well with any of the foundations that I know work well on my skin. So I wouldn't go out and buy this. Wouldn't really recommend it. I have an empty of my NYX Glitter Glue that I absolutely adore. I buy this, try to find it on sale at Ulta because it's really affordable. It's already $6 and it lasts me weeks and weeks, if not a couple of months. So highly recommend if you have hooded eyes, if you have hooded lids, if you need help keeping anything on your lid for a long amount of time, try this. It's affordable and it's great. I have this powder empty. I depotted it. This is the Balm Sexy Mama powder. I have like three backups of this because I love it so much and I always buy it when it's on sale because when it goes on sale on the balm.com like everything is 50% off. So I always buy this for $10 and it's worth the $10. Like I can use all of it up and I love it. It's like a light translucent powder. It works really well. I'm actually going to open up another one of my backups and put it right back into my Everyday Z palette because I love it so much. Next, I have a foundation empty and this is from Maybelline. This is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I rediscovered this when I brought out all my matte foundations for the summer and I realized how awesome this worked on my skin. The only downside is that the undertone was wrong. Everything about the shade was wrong. <laughs> so I had to add golden drops. I had to lighten it. I had to really work with it, but for me, it was worth it because it worked so well with sweat, with heat, with humidity. It just looked bomb all day, which is awesome. This is probably going to be included in my upcoming video on the best foundations, but I really want to pick up another shade that works a little bit better for me, so I don't have to do as much work with it. I had the shade 122 Creamy Beige. I'll probably pick up a shade that's a little bit lighter and more warm of an undertone, because this one did have a cool undertone. 
Speaking of lightening foundations, I have an empty from LA Girl, and this is their Pro Color Mixing Pigment. So they came out with a line of mixing pigments. They have like a brown, a yellow, this one, I think it was an orange one. Um, but they also have in their regular foundation line, they have just a white foundation. So that's what I've been using to lighten everything. But then I saw this Pro Pigment and I'm like, well, let me try this out. This was a dollar more, but it did have a glass bottle and it had like 0.2 ounces more of product in this one. I honestly don't think it's totally worth it because the glass bottle actually does make it a little bit harder to scrape out all the product. I like scraping the product out of their other plastic bottle a little bit better. And with how fast I've been going through these, I don't mind like having a dollar off to get a little bit less product, but I can fully scrape out the bottle. Whereas with this one, I was having just a little bit of difficulty doing that. So, I mean, they both worked basically the same. I'd really recommend either of them if you're looking for a good white mixer, but I mean, the, the difference is just a little bit neg negligible, 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 negligible. But personally, I just prefer the plastic bottle because it's a little bit bigger, a little bit just easier to work with than the smaller glass one. But it's a dollar difference and like 0 0.2 ounces difference. So the choice is yours. Okay, we're in the home stretch when we have a couple of products left. This one I am so excited about. I'm so glad it's gone. It's empty. I finally used it all up. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey. I purchased this right before their old face tape foundation crap went down and I stopped buying from Tarte. I am trying to do a bit of a reconsideration of Tarte as a whole. I've been told different things about other things that have happened since their first kind of big scandal. So I really want to take a deep dive into Tarte since the scandal and see whether or not it's worth it to repurchase from them. But I was finally able to use this whole thing up. The darkness on the bottom is because the stopper, I tried to pull the stopper out, but unfortunately like it just got pushed in and it pushed all the way to the bottom. So there is like a tiny bit of product I wasn't able to get out because the stopper got stuck down there, but I've literally just been able to scrape out the rest of the bottle. So this is, has lasted me months as an everyday eye primer and made a really good eye primer. But for me and for my skin type, this did not work under my eyes. I could not wear this under my eyes. I could not bake with this. I couldn't use it to spot conceal because it just was so dry, so crepey. It aged me horribly. I think if you had oily skin, this could probably work really well for you. But if you have combo or like dry skin, just don't. Stay far away. That's why I think it works so well as an eye primer because I do have really oily eyelids. I have hooded lids. So I think that's why it worked so well. Whereas the rest of my skin, especially under my eyes, can get very dry. And I think that's why it didn't look so great. Last but not least, I have three empty setting sprays. The first one is from e.l.f. And this is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I had a horrible experience with another e.l.f. setting spray during my first full face of e.l.f. video. So I've been a bit weary of using anything else. Uh, this one I tested out when I didn't have to go anywhere, just to make sure, <laughs> just to make sure. It was just like a meh, okay setting spray. It wasn't anything revolutionary. There are other affordable ones that work better, including the next two. So I wouldn't really recommend this, even though it's pretty affordable, just I think Wet n Wild has better setting sprays in Milani. Speaking of Wet n Wild setting sprays, I've been trying out these newer ones, like the cucumber scented and the rose scented ones. I love the rose one. This is my favorite. It smells great. It works great as a setting spray. I adore it. With this empty, this actually finished and I tried out their matte setting spray. I no longer have that bottle, but I put the matte setting spray because the sprayer sucked. And I was like, okay, maybe just try putting that matte setting spray into this one and see how it works but it, it made this sprayer work not as well. So it's not the sprayer, it was the formula of the matte setting spray was clogging the sprayer. So that was the issue. I do not like their matte setting spray. It did not work well, but the original, like the rose scented one and the cucumber one worked great. Only downside is the cucumber one doesn't smell that great. <laughs> yeah, like it smells pretty terrible. <laughs> but the setting spray works well. So if you can get over the scent for 10 seconds, it does, as soon as it dries, the scent goes away, thankfully, which is how I was able to use this up. But if you can't take that scent at first, it's, <laughs> it's a scent. <laughs> but the setting spray is affordable and it works really well. Oh my God, we did it. That's all of it. <laughs> I feel like I haven't had that many empties in a long time. Thank you guys so much for making it through this whole thing if you were able to make it this far. <laughs> Let me know down below what's the last product that you used up 
and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.